hello good viewers you are welcome uh, we have this um equation here x raised to the power 4 minus 4 x to the power 3 plus 6 x squared minus 4 x plus 1 equals 0 so we want to know the value of x and the value of x must be a real number so therefore what i'm going to do is that uh, i'm going to reduce this equation so how am i going to reduce it let's see so now I'm going to divide through by x squared. I'm going to be having x raised to power 4 divided by x raised to power 2. So now from there, so the next thing we are going to do is you can see that x squared is x raised to power 4 divided by this. We are going to be having x squared minus this will be 4x and plus this will be 6 minus this will be 4 over what over x plus 1 over x squared and this will be 0 are you following so now from there we move on so we're going to see from here i'm going to do some rearrangement so we have x squared here 1 over x squared i can take this to this place x squared plus 1 over x squared then I can take this and this together minus 4x minus 4 over x right then plus 6 equals 0 are you following so now from there so we see that here you have x squared plus 1 over x squared here I can take out this negative I have then 4 outside, we have 4 being the common factor x minus or plus because I've already taken out the minus 1 over x, right? Then plus 6 equals 0. So now from there, the next thing we are going to do is you can see that we have x square plus 1 over x square minus 4 x plus 1 over x plus 6. So from here now, let's let z equals x plus 1 over x if z should be x plus 1 over x here let's call this equation star okay so therefore we replace any of you said x plus 1 over x we replace it by what we replace it by this in this equation but before then we know that if I say z squared here, z squared is going to be x plus 1 over x all squared, right? Which is going to be equals x squared plus 1 over x all squared plus 2 x over x so we use this from this a plus b all squared we give us a squared plus b squared plus 2 a b so that is perfect square that is what we actually use here to get this so x is my a x square 1 over x is b square 1 over s all squared then 2 times x times 1 over x to give us s over x then 2 times that's why we have this so therefore we are going to be having z square here to be x squared plus 1 over x squared then plus 2 because x over x will give us 1 right so from there so what i'm going to do we have this one to be star star right so now from here what are we going to do but before this you know we have s squared plus y squared here we can actually rewrite this by making s squared over s squared s squared plus 1 over s squared make it subject of formula okay we have z squared minus 2 call this instead of calling this star star 
so let's name this star instead okay this one circled so now from there what are we going to do now we are going to do a replacement we have star we have z here and we have what and we have uh z squared i mean we have this one here star star so now from there so we're now going to let's go to this equation here the equation here this equation here so we can see we have x squared plus y squared x squared plus y squared we have x squared plus 1 over x squared x squared plus 1 over x squared yes definitely x squared plus 1 over x squared according to what we have here so that's going to be into bracket z squared minus 2 minus 4 into bracket x plus 1 over x is already z here right so we have z plus 6 equals 0 so we are going to write this open the bracket we have z squared right minus 2 minus 4z plus 6 equals 0 so now from here so let's rewrite this we're going to have z squared minus 4z minus 2 plus 6 we're going to have 0 so now from here we have z squared minus 4z then this is going to be plus 4 and that is what that is 0 so we have what we have here this is quadratic equation in terms of z and this is how we're going to have the factor so we have z here z here so what are we going to have here what are we going to have so we're going to look for the two factors of two or four when we multiply them together we are going to have four point when you add them together you're going to have minus four and that is minus two and minus two because minus two times minus two will give us this so finally we are having this to be z minus two all squared equals zero so which is telling us that z minus two equals zero which implies that z equals what equals two but don't forget that we are not looking for the value of z right so the value that we are looking for is what is x so now we now go back to where we recall where we say we've already said recall that we need to recall recall that z equals x plus 1 over x and we've already gotten x so which implies that as z is 2 we have x plus 1 over x which is equals to 2 so now from here what are you going to do so let's try to clear the fraction by multiplying x throughout x x plus 1 over x equals 2 times x right so we have x squared plus x over x if these two cross to this side then we have 2x so now from here we have x squared plus 1 equals 2x right so we have x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals what equals 0 so now from here what are we going to do so we see that this is going to be x x then equals 0 so now what are you going to put here you can see that when you have minus 1 times minus 1 we give us plus 1 then minus 1 times minus 1 we give us minus 2 so that way we have x minus 1 all squared equals 0 so therefore we have x minus 1 to be 0 then which implies that x equals what 1 so we have x equals 1 to be the solution to this problem 
so if you find the class and you can see that this x belongs to what the x belong to set of real numbers so that is the solution that's the real number we have so at the end of the class this is the end of the class so kindly subscribe okay if you have not done that before so that you'll be notified anytime then also hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime you upload new content thank you so much for watching bye bye